Hi, I'm Veronica Olson. And I'm Joe Ricards, and welcome to He Said, She Said, Ukraine. Let's talk about some issues in upcoming episodes. Uh, one of them is going to be, let's talk about sex. How does it make you feel? I knew he'll say that. <laughs> no, seriously. Um, you know, guys, yes. it's a favorite mm -hmm. subject for guys, of course. Yes. And there's a lot of misconceptions, confusions. Guys, mm -hmm. I hear, well, Slavic women are easy. Then mm -hmm. I hear... Okay, Slavic women are, 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 are yes. difficult. They're more uh -huh. conservative. Guys don't really know, and, and people don't seem to talk about it. So we're going to just lay it all out, mm -hmm. right? And tell you straight up um, what most Slavic ladies are, certainly what the good ladies are like. Because after all, we work with couples that are good people. Yes. You know, they're looking, when I say good people, that's people without a hidden agenda. They're looking for the, the real thing, true love, mm -hmm. which stands the test of time that you have a happy family and you, mm -hmm. you know, live happily ever after. So that's, of course, what we're talking about here. And mm -hmm. um, so we'll lay it all We'll up. talk about sex. We'll, we'll talk about sex. Okay. So you don't want to miss that episode. Somebody has to talk about <laughs> Might as well be us. What about love languages? We're going to talk about love languages. Mm -hmm. and how yes, that but, is. yes, we will cover not only the, you know, the translation difficulties, but also all the other languages that exist in the world, and they're the same for every nationality. And sometimes we just don't know them, so we don't even know how to please the person, how to, how even to speak what we want. We we presume that the other person know that. Mm -hmm. So the love languages is definitely on the list. Yeah, it's very important to understand what your uh, what your lang love language is, so that you can find a partner that has mm -hmm. the same love language as you. Mm -hmm. uh, that's much easier to go about that way, matchmaking, uh, than ending up with somebody that has a different love language. Doesn't mean. It's a deal breaker, but it, it can be difficult to figure out the love language. Mm -hmm. you know, as John Gray in Chicken Soup for the Soul calls it. Yes. Uh, uh, tomato soup, soup, chicken soup, right? Mm -hmm. My love uh, language is tomato soup and yours is chicken noodle soup. Mm -hmm. And I give you tomato soup because that's love to me. And you're like, what's this tomato soup? Yeah. I don't want tomato soup. You want chicken noodle yes. soup. Yes, but I feel that I gave you the best. Yeah, but... And you but don't depreciate. Exactly. So. It's not registering as, I feel like you don't love me. Mm -hmm. And it's the weirdest thing. If you get this dynamic of mismatched love language in a relationship, it can be a relationship killer. So it's important. So we're going to talk about that in an upcoming episode. What else are we going to talk about? <sighs> we will talk about the challenges. The, the challenges and... And, and you know good and bad everything and we will welcome your questions about, absolutely, ab absolutely. about what you would like to know because uh, there is you know one of the main reasons why I'm doing my blog and I talk to people Ukraine and the Ukrainian mentality is one of the most undiscovered cultures on the planet it's very difficult to understand the Slavic mindset, there is not very enough. different than ours. Yes, yeah, so we will be answering and creating questions mm -hmm. and ideas. Um, and uh, I will always share the stories and challenges from my clients mm -hmm. because um, they are, I think that they have a relief just to talk about this with somebody who you know, it's kind of hard to talk with American counselor, and I have nothing against American counselors because they're very professional. They, they, I mean, most of them are doing an amazing job, but they don't know a lot about Ukrainian women. Yeah. So that sometimes is very tricky to to figure out what is happening, and the advice they're going to give won't always be. Um, right. Okay. Yeah, because if they don't understand Slavic yes. soul, how can they give? Uh, yeah, yeah, you, know, you would think it's common. Yeah, it, it, you know, because common sense is not so common. And <laughs> exactly. And you exactly. know, don't ever try to. You know, there is this old saying: don't try to understand Russia with brain, feel it with your heart. Same thing about Ukraine. Don't always try to understand everything with brain and logic, but feel it with your heart and with education. So it was good. It was good. He said. She said. Ukraine. Ukraine. So, hope you enjoyed that, everybody. Um, please comment, ask your questions below, and if you tell us what you want to hear from us, mm -hmm. what challenges you're having in your relationships with your Ukrainian or Slavic lady, and um, we get enough of those, we'll make an episode just for you, okay? So, um, Absolutely. thanks very much, and uh, good luck. Thanks. See Bye -bye. you next time. See ya.